The Justice League is the premier superhero team in the DC Universe, and we all know the lineup. And even though their public image is at the moment in the dumps because of a certain cinematic universe that will not be named, there was a time that they stood larger than the Avengers, before the MCU of course. Well, in 2001, there was a comic book crossover event called Justice Leagues. The whole idea is something like this. This businessman looking guy with a cosmic cell phone and briefcase come to Earth for some evil reasons and teams up with the big head guy from the Green Lantern movie to make the entire world forget about the Justice League. With all heroes having lost their bonds to each other, each core member forms a league of their own. Today we're going to look at Batman's team because he's the most popular DC hero. Released in 2001, written by Paul Grist with art by Coy Turnbull, this is JLA, Justice League of Arkham. Heads up, this is part 4 of the Justice League storyline, so if y'all enjoy this, we can take a look at the entire story eventually. But from my infinite wisdom, my all-knowing of every single comic book fact ever, I've never gotten anything wrong. Let's get into this. We open up on Nightwing and Batman surveying what seems to be a prison, to which I assume is Arkham Asylum. Nightwing is calling Batman crazy, to which he says that he's not. Then Nightwing uses a rocket launcher to fire what's presumably a non-lethal rocket at the building so Batman can fly in sneakily. Big Bad Batman goes through the facility blowing shit up until he finds what he was looking for. The Joker! Cut to Batman, explaining what's going on. So there's disasters happening all around the world, and this week the Flash has formed his own Justice League, which makes the sum total of Justice League's five at the moment of this story, all going by the same name, JLA, but each A means something differently. So now, here Batman is with a bunch of his rogues because he wants to make a JLA too, but the most prominent thing that starts with the letter A in Batman's world is Arkham. I think the Justice League of Alfreds would be cooler, but you know. We got Catwoman, Riddler, Poison Ivy, Joker, and the Ventriloquist? Why the fuck is he here? He's a B-lister alongside the big guns. Where's the other big guys? Where the hell's Two-Face? Where's Clayface? Where's another face villain? I don't know, Clock King? Put a Give him a clock face or something, I don't know. Nightwing's right, Batman is crazy, because this is a stupid fucking plan. He gives them the rundown and how they're after the cosmic cell phone businessman. Obviously they ask why they need to help, to which Batman explains the plot of Batman Begins, four years before it comes out. Uh, the villain brought in a toxic chemical and when it touches water or something, it turns into a toxic gas. They all say yeah to help, but not before the Joker asks for Riddler to be a sidekick, which angers Riddler enough for him to leap over the fucking table. Come here you clown, son of a bitch. Knock knock. Greedy you do I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, Joker 1 and 2! Nightwing calls Batman crazy again, and then someone chooses the name Justice League of Arkham. Cut to them acting out their plan. It's action time. The villains take out the security, Ooh. then they head into the chemical plant where the toxins are. Riddler then breaks the security code on some sort of computer. Poison Ivy does something with plants, and then we see Riddler do this. I am not sure what he's doing. Is he jumping for joy? I... I can't tell. They then sprint down the hall, and Poison Ivy blows a kiss so hard at the air that this guy passes out. A guard sees them and is about to hit an alarm, but Joker gets ready to shoot him! Batman stops him. Why did Batman let them bring weapons? He's a really smart guy. Lucky enough, Nightwing shows up behind the guard and knocks him out. Thanks for the brain damage, night guy. Anyways, Batman looking fucking sick here before they all blow up the door. And Arkham Assemble! You'll be hearing from my lawyers. They punch up the goons or whatever, Cosmic Cell Phone Man makes a break for it, but gets tricked by the Joker and drops his briefcase and phone. And for some reason after this, his suit is no longer all glittery. They tie the guy up and then start to question him. So he's here to quote, renovate the world as it's his job. Riddler tries to use his cell phone and... I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick. Right now. My guess is that it's Dark Side or someone connected to Apocalypse. But what do I know? Like and comment, give me good feedback, and maybe we'll do the full story and find out together. I don't know. Batman then realizes Joker is gone, so he tells the villains to sit tight as he and Nightwing both leave. Cosmic Businessman then asks a question we're all wondering: Why the hell they're working for Batman? Even though we know that if they don't, then everyone will die from the toxic gas, plants included. But now they decide f it because they're villains, so they all ditch the place instead of helping and getting put back in the asylum in the end. Cut to Batman and Bird Boy. They found clown boots really fast. Joker says he's gonna spend his last moments with the person he loves. He then presses the button and tries to gas them all to death, but Nightwing immediately switches it back off. Batman says he found him because when Joker fought with Riddler, he put a tracking device in the hose that he sprayed them with. He then says this. That's the difference between us, Joker. I'm not crazy. What the f*** is he talking about? Who, what, who is he proving this to? There's, uh, Whatever. 
Perhaps Hector Hammond may have also erased Batman's intelligence as well. Let's catch back up with the villains. They make it out only to be met by the Justice League of Adventure, led by the Flash. They make quick work of the villains, and then Flash heads inside and asks Batman to join his Justice League, because the League of Arkham is a stupid ass idea, and Batman is stupid. Stupid man then rejects the offer and says his League isn't it, and something is wrong, as he hauls off his green haired lover back to the loony bin. To be continued, in the Justice League of Aliens, later. So yeah, if you guys like this, uh, I can make a longer video with the entire storyline. Uh, I'm interested to know the ins and outs of this story, but I was not intrigued enough by this to read the whole thing. Other than that, let me get this off my chest before I go on. I fucking hated this! What an idiotic idea by Batman. I know he's normally super smart, smartest guy on earth, whatever, but sometimes the writers make him a real dumb guy. Like, shit! Why would this be a good idea? Nightwing had it the whole time, and he barely had anything to say. Anyways, uh, I like the art style, even though it looks uh. wonky in some places. Some of the shapes are pretty sharp and weird, like Flash in the final panel. And I also like the way Batman's cowl looked for most of it. it. Reminds me of the Superman Batman Public Enemy cartoon that I watched when I was a kid. I loved it. I know that that's from the books as well, but it just reminded me of that. That's the first thing that came to my head. I'm not a real comic fan. But yeah, I really wonder if knowing the entire story would make me like this more. But as is, this just makes Batman look like a f***ing idiot. And I know that to all the big Batman fans out there, that probably is like the worst thing that you can hear. But guess what? Comic books are f***ing stupid. <laughs> and it's okay to like stupid things. And it's okay for stupid things to be taken seriously sometimes and be really good. But this is not one of those times. So yeah. Catch y'all next week. Ooh, fuck anybody that's talking down on me. Wanna talk tough on me. Better try me. A whole lot of people be counting on me. And it's all on me. I can't take that shit lightly. A whole lot of people.